On Thursday, the 24th of August 2017, experts and professionals in the business sector converged on the Jerry Hall of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Victoria Island, Lagos, to attend a public policy forum tagged the Made in Nigeria campaign and national economic revival. The event, which was organized by the founder and publisher Hallmark newspaper, Prince Emekalbasi, attracted very important personalities who have in one way or the other contributed to the Nigerian economy. The guest speaker at the occasion was the Executive Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezie Victor Ekbazu. The Chairman, Advisory Board of the Public Policy Forum, Ambassador Professor Giorgio Biozo, in his welcome remarks, welcomed all to the occasion. He said the forum was organized for those who have serious initiatives that can contribute to the development of the Nigerian economy. Ambassador Professor Giorgio Biozo also eulogized the guest speaker, Executive Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezie Victor Ekbazu describing him as one of the outstanding champions of our time, who has successfully driven the promotion of Made in Nigeria goods, making him the best man to speak at the forum. In his analysis of the campaign for Made in Nigeria products, he said Nigeria can only grow if she begins to rely on her internal resources and patronize her locally made goods. This lecture annually is preserved for those who have serious initiatives and something to contribute that will be remarkable to national development. Indeed, Abia, under Dr. Ibazo, is increasingly emerging as a dynamic growing economy. In fact, attracting a host of investors offering an industrial base comparable to well-established states that are exceptionally doing well, such as Lagos and Ogun, as well as Anambra State. As a matter of fact, as I'm a firm believer that the beginning of our greatness will start at the level of our economic national integration and effective international economic competitiveness. And this is the focus that is going on in Abia State, for which we congratulate the governor. And we have today one of the outstanding champions of this new generation of leadership of Nigeria determined to take the country forward to forfeit its, uh, to fulfill its manifest destiny. It's our pleasure to welcome him and a pleasure for us to listen to him. The chairman of the occasion, Dr. Bunayano, Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, who was ably represented by Professor Mrs. Gloria Lemo, Director General and Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Oshudi, said he was privileged to be chairman of the occasion. He commended the foresight and ingenuity of the organizers of the event for deeming it necessary to organize the forum. He added that he strongly believes that the forum will provide the needed platform for networking and interaction by relevant stakeholders for the promotion of Made in Nigeria goods and services. All distinguished discussants at this table, special guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and especially members of the press. I am here standing on behalf of Dr. Obunaya Onu, the Honorable Minister for Science and Technology, who is unavoidably absent today. He had made all necessary arrangements to be here, but due to superior directives, he is unable to come and he has also given me the directive to be here. It is very unfortunate that the unemployment rate in Nigeria is quite frightening. 
Jobless youths are roaming the streets with negative implications for national security. Government alone cannot solve this problem. But the best that can be done by government is to provide the enabling environment and favorable policies for the private sector to try, part of which is this campaign we are here today for, for patronage of Made in Nigerian Goods. I congratulate the organizers once more. The advantages are obvious. It will enhance the growth of local manufacturing industries, as well as promote entrepreneurship amongst our teeming youth. It will bring about a favorable balance of trade through drastic reduction in the quantity and quality of imported goods and services. And this definitely will lead to conservation of foreign exchange. Another obvious advantage is that of opportunity to develop homegrown expertise and solutions to our challenges, as well as the step, extinct, and national pride that we are about or able to provide to meet our needs as a nation. That good policy framework is very imperative. Such policies that will encourage attitudinal change and reorientation give priority to local goods and probably make compulsory procurement of made in Nigerian goods. Support the growth of the small businesses via import substitution strategies and export promotion drive, including tax incentives for local producers, easy access for finance, and so many others. Thank you very much. That is the end of the speech of the Honorable Minister as delivered from Abuja. Thank you very much. The guest speaker at the occasion, Dr. Okeze Victor Ekwazu, Executive Governor of Abia State, took time to appreciate the hard work and commitment of Prince Emek Obasi, publisher Hallmark Business Newspaper, describing him as a man with a fighting spirit, whose resilience has progressively kept the Hallmark Business Newspaper alive. Dr. Kese Victor Ekwazo said, The topic of the lecture is apt, considering the present economic realities in Nigeria. He added that Nigeria is on a cliffhanger and providing solutions to the decay in the economy. He urged Nigerians to encourage hard-working Nigerians who produce locally made goods by patronizing them. He also stressed that the government must provide an enabling environment where businesses can thrive. Dr. Okeze Ikbeazu, whose campaign has led to the larger conversation to embrace Made in Nigeria products, said domestic inclusiveness and national competitiveness are the pathways to sustained socio-economic development in Nigeria. We must begin to think about what we need to do about our conspicuous consumption and preference for foreign goods. Now the question is, why is it that people prefer foreign goods to the goods they manufacture in their country. Why is it that we are not awake to the negative impact of consistent consumption and preference for, for foreign goods? I was told by somebody in America that Nigeria is the second largest consumer of champagne, yet we cannot produce even the bottle to bottle champagne. Yet we are the second largest consumer of Japan. I did not really, I did not really feel the impact of uh, the negative impact of all this as a person until somebody brought a drink to me called Alumobita. This Alumobita was imported from Ghana, and I used to hear about Swedish bitters and all kinds of bitters, and I asked a simple question to my friend who is a chemist. And he said to me that a collection of bitter substances that are edible in a country constitute bitters of that country. My ambition is to, in the next few years, to put Gucci and disgraced Gucci and uh, Liu Vuitton on the same stage with other people. I will use these other people and disgrace them. And, make, and I will make this happen. We will see. 
from direct sales, from the effort we have made, it has been alluded to before, we had direct sales attracting over 2 billion naira to the uh, shoe makers and the garment makers. Uh, like I said earlier, I pay my respects to the director of NYSC, the leadership of the military, the custom and the immigration for uh, extended patronage. And I, in conclusion, I want to recommend that we adopt the strategy employed by China at an airport in the industrial drive. Government should make policies that insist that those who seek to sell in the Nigerian market must set up their factories here in Nigeria. There is no doubt that we have all the raw materials that we need for the production of most of the finished goods we import from all over the world. Again, permit me to quote Ruben Abati. If Toyota and Nissan want to sell cars in Nigeria, then they must produce the cars inside Nigeria and source their materials and labor, majorly from here and brand the vehicles made in Nigeria and export to other parts of the world. Two, we must be willing and determined to walk the talk. I do not understand why we still have basmati rice on the menu of Mr. President. I do not understand why we have basmati rice and all kinds of rice. Since we spend two million US dollars every day, on rice alone. Why are we eating rice imported from elsewhere? The next session enabled discussants to give their take on how to ensure that made in Nigeria goods receive global attention. First on the list of discussants was Mr. Abba Bello, Managing Director and CEO Nigeria Export Import Bank. He first appreciated Dr. Okizi Victor Ikwazu governor of Abia state for his fantastic lecture adding that there couldn't have been a better person to give an in-depth analysis of the nigerian economy and provide practicable solutions for its upward turn speaking on the issue of quality and standardization mr abba bello said what most nigerians fear is the issue of goods inferiority he said nigerians should be proud to patronize made in nigeria products as it is the only way producers of the goods can regain their lost pride and confidence. He also pledged his support to facilitate the export of made in Nigeria goods so they can get due global attention. One of the things that is very important that made in Nigeria must achieve is standardization. Okay? Um, his Excellency spoke about our preference for things that are made in other uh, economies, and that is why the ABA traders and manufacturers in the, far, in the past started manufacturing and putting made in China, because we as consumers prefer to buy things that are made from somewhere else. Okay, I remember the time when they used to say, ah, in the market, this ABA made. But you have done the right thing, sir, to make that abandoned instead of it being the derogatory. Let it be something that people are proud of. Okay? Now, everywhere we see, when you go places, anything South African, you see boldly printed there, proudly South African. Okay? Putting it in the psyche of people that whatever is produced, we are proud of it. Even if it is inferior, we know there is a learning curve, but we should be proud of it. We should be proud to wear things, clothes, for instance, shoes, that are made in Nigeria. Eventually, we'll get there, the quality will be there, but we must ensure standardization. Mr. Olusha Gwawulawo, CEO Nigerian Export Promotion Council, NEPC who was represented by Barrister George in his analysis said, in 2005, Nigeria made $39.6 billion in crude oil, but today, its revenue from crude oil has dropped by 30%. He said Nigeria has all it takes to produce what we need, saying agriculture is a veritable tool to take the country out of recession, and most importantly, poverty. He also stated that, Despite the fact that Nigeria is a leading country in the production of agricultural produce, we are not making reasonable profit from it. 
He emphasized that Nigeria must cut its import and increase its export by exporting value-added goods to earn foreign exchange. To many Nigerians, is what of the ways that this country can move forward. We've experimented, we've tried many theories, and you have given us some. But one of the theories I want to take back to my principal is the one you gave us last, that we should talk the work and walk the talk. But we have all that it takes to produce what we want to eat, what we want to use, and the ABA experience, the Made in Nigeria Good campaign is thrust on this, the issue of diversification of Nigerian export base and income earnings. I think our observation is that we are looking at the issue of our goods getting into ECOWAS countries more as goods that are actually not being exported. And if you don't export goods and you get to the other country, definitely, uh, well, if you want to give it a mild name, it will be smuggling. And to know any country loses when it patronizes smuggling activities. So we would like to plead with His Excellency that almost all relevant government agencies would want to cooperate with you to ensure that producers in Abad get the best value for their efforts. And that can only come when their goods are sent out of this country formally in terms of them being exported. One of the advantages, Your Excellency, with those exporters will get is a specialized incentive that the federal government is administering through the Nigerian Export Promotion Council that we call the Export Expansion Grant. I must confess that the statistics we have does not show that Arabia State is a beneficiary of this grant. And that must have been the reason based on the fact that they have not exported formally. Because it is only people that have exported formally that are entitled to it. Questions were asked by members of the audience and the guest speaker, Dr. Okezie Victor Ekbazu as well as other discussions provided answers. Former Managing Director of the defunct Howmack Bank, Mr. Mark Wabara, in the closing remark, thanked the Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezie Victor Ekbazu, for coming and congratulated him for contributing to the growth and development of the country through the Made in Aba campaign. Mr. Mark Wabara said, Made in Nigeria products are taking higher levels, which is good for the nation. He finally expressed gratitude to the publisher of the Business Hall Mac newspaper, Prince Emeka Obasi, for providing the platform to engage stakeholders in a national discourse, which has been doing for over 20 years. I want to especially thank our own young brother, the publisher of Business Hall Mac. Prince Emeka Obasi. Our governor has alluded to his fighting spirit, which I don't only share with the governor, but I have also known him for a very long time. Year in, year out, for over 20 years, he has provided this platform for us to engage in national discourse. So God will bless you. God will bless the board of Business of Mark. God will bless the staff. God will bless all of us who have come today for us to discuss on how to move our nation forward. God bless Nigeria. Thank you for listening. 
From Biscon Communications, we congratulate Prince Emekabasi, publisher business hallmark newspaper, for the drive towards the development of the Nigerian economy.